Hey, hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just testing out this polygraph here and going over today's science file. And today's science file, listen. How can you tell if someone is lying? Well, that's a great question. Try it. You will need your friend. Agent Crazy Chris, the scientist, and I'm taking on the case of a lousy liar. Do you want to find out if your friend is liar, liar, pants on fire? Well, you're in luck because today's so cool science file is interactive. Because I am going to show you a wicked cool trick that you can do with me right now to help you tell if your friend is pulling the wool over your eyes. Okay, here's what you're going to do. Try to remember what you had for dinner last night. Whoa, your eyes went up to the left, buddy. Yes, they did. Your eyes went whoop up there to the left. Yeah, while well, you were trying to remember what you had for dinner last night. Yeah, you did. That's pretty wicked cool, right? Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. Check this out. Now, make up a story about what you were doing yesterday. Whoa, your eyes just went up and to the right, buddy. Yes, they did. Your eyes went whoop up there to the right. Yes, they did. While you were trying to make up a story about what you were doing yesterday. That's so wicked cool. Okay, so what does this eye technique have to do with how to catch a liar? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The reason we look up and to the left when we are trying to recall something is because the left side of the brain is for logic and reasoning. And we look to the right when we're creating because the right side of the brain is for random thoughts and creativity. However, when you look at someone, you will see this reversed. For example, you catch your friend off guard and ask them a question that makes them think. They hesitate and you see their eyes move to the left. That means that they are accessing the creative side of their brain and creating a lie. Remember, a liar looks left. The polygraph machine, or better known as the lie detector, is a machine that measures and records changes in three different body functions. A liar's blood pressure and respiration may increase while they are lying, and the palms or fingers may become sweaty, which causes loss in skin conductivity. Law officers say that the polygraph machine is the best way to detect a liar. However, cops are not scientists. Scientists would say these three things also happen when a person is angry, frightened, or nervous, which could cause an innocent person to be labeled a liar by the polygraph machine. You might think that we could just take a brain scan to figure out if someone is lying. However, even this wouldn't work because if someone believed their lie strong enough, you wouldn't get an accurate reading. Also, just like the polygraph machine, there are just too many ways to trick this technology. Although there are small things like eye movements which can be used to help in detecting a lie, currently there is no scientific way to be 100% positive someone is lying. So now you know that this machine here doesn't detect lies. You know, watching your friend's eyes to detect their lies is why science is so cool.